loves us, he loves you, he loves man. He created man to be in fellowship with him, in holiness, in righteousness, in love. God loves us, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish in hell fire. We will have eternal life, heaven. God did not send the Son to the world, damn the world for sin, but that the world through them, through him, through faith, might be saved from everlasting fire, hell, from everlasting torment, in the magma and the lavas of hell. God, in his eternal justice, cannot touch sin, he cannot touch wickedness. But out of the first man that God created, fell, and his wife, he, they fell from their righteous state. They fell. They gave in to the temptation of Satan. He said to them, Eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and you will become like God. And Eve said to Satan, No. God told us we are not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But then Satan, Satan made Eve doubt the word of the Lord. And Satan told Eve, he said, God, God doesn't mind if you eat this fruit. He's just afraid. He's just afraid that you'll become like God. So Eve was deceived, and she listened to the voice of the devil. She ate the fruit. And what came upon her was death. Death. Spiritual consciousness lost. She lost her awareness of the Spirit of the Lord. And she pulled Adam into it. And he lost that consciousness awareness of the presence of God and he would walk in the garden of Eden and he would be caught in the spirit of God he would be caught in the Lord's presence and he would, he would hear the voice of the Lord walking through the garden telling his son I love you son I'm pleased with you but when he fell he ate he ate the tree of the knowledge of good and evil he fell fell from that righteous and holy state from which he came. God, God created Adam and Eve a state of perfect holiness and righteousness, perfection. And they loved God and he loved them. And there was no separation. They Can I take a picture? Mm -hmm. And he saw God every moment. Look. And he heard the voice Don't mash of the any Lord. buttons. Look, there's and he could feel his warm and great, his breath, his spirit. But when they, when they ate the tree of the knowledge, yeah. they lost it. They became physically minded. They became almost atheistic. They did not sense the Lord in their midst. And they became sinners. They became sinners. And they did not love the Lord anymore in their hearts. And they became wicked. And God said to them, You will surely die for what you have done. You will surely die because you did not obey my commands. And so, Adam and Eve gave birth to every man on the face of the earth. He gave birth to sinful, wicked men. To God. God loves us. God so loves the world. Even though we are born in sin and wickedness. And He wants to redeem us to righteousness what we had lost. He wants to redeem us. And so we have a choice. And the Spirit of the Lord is upon the face of the earth to help us choose the right way. We have all gone astray. Wickedness and darkness. The Spirit of the Lord is there. Give that man an Oscar. The Jesus and the righteousness and truth. We go our own way. If we disobey the commandments of God, thou shalt not have any other gods before me, thou shalt not have any other idols or graven images, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not bear false testimony against your neighbor, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not covet. If we disobey the commandments of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord will depart from us and will not help us. It is up to us. We 
you have a free will, you have a free choice. It is up to us. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Will you go to heaven or will you go to hell? Hell, hell. Hell fire. Only a perfectly holy and righteous God mm -hmm. can send such wicked okay. people no, to hell. I didn't want to God is not willing that you should go to hell, perish there in the torment of the flames of the demons of hell. No. Look unto the Son of God who died on the cross for your sin. Like downtown, here and in downtown. Walk away. Flee from the wrath. We God. live in um, off Lake Boone Trail, over near NC State, very close to NC State. Hell. 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 We've been here since 2010. Hell. I came from Falcon, North Carolina, which is really small. Falcon, North Carolina, north of Fort Bragg. He's from Raleigh. He from Raleigh? But he was from the. Let's see. He lived in several places. He lived in Illinois. That's why he ha he doesn't have a southern accent. He doesn't have a southern accent. Um, he's been for, he's lived in Wisconsin, Illinois, and Kentucky, I believe. But he's been in Raleigh since he was 12. That's the only child that you have? For now. <laughs> We'd love to have more. Thank you. Maria is pretty. Bonita. Say gracias, senor. Call out to God. And you can say, Abba, Father. You are my son. You can get out. Unclip. I am your child. He said, yes, son. Go and sin no more. For the devil is after your life. And sin creeps at the door. He drives you now. Do not go in the broad way of destruction. Go in the narrow way of life. For few there be that find you. Few there be that understand the way to the Holy Spirit of God. Are you one of the few? Many are called to the gospel. Many are called to salvation. Many, many, many will go to hell. Well, few will answer the call. Choose to the day who you will serve, whether you will follow the Lord. Choose you this day. I alarm you of hell. Hell has been large in her mouth. It is willing to swallow up the wicked. What if you be counted with the righteous? And you, and it is hard to the righteous. To Tienes los hermanos or hermanos? Follow the narrow path. Follow the narrow path. Cuando? God will your sin as a path. Walk in the path of all. I'm going to spend you a little bit. I'm going to spend you a little bit. I'm going to uh, pero, uh, a mí me gusta hablar español. 
Hermano y hermana. Hermana 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 y hermana.